I've uh, been working on getting my grow room ready. I've got my uh, metal halide lamp, my first one up, another one going here, my grow table and stuff. But I finished what we did last time, which was building our end caps. As you can see, they've been put together with just an eight foot one by three either side and buttresses, the 45s. Glued up, set, ready. Now for me, uh, to get my 10 foot 4 inch PVCs in, it was easier to take my caps off. So I just lay them in. And I put end caps on the end of them here. Which you don't need to seal or anything, the end caps are very good. Put the whole thing up against the wall so it's nice and level. Or, well, this way. As far as the ends even, I should say. So now it comes to cutting our holes, which I will admit is not a fun job. Now I'm using three and a half inch net pumps. Uh, it worked out that I basically have about 93 and a bit inches here. And obviously you can't just put your net pots you know, right next to each other. You can't do that. You can't have them this close. You need to have some spacing. Now the question is, what type of spacing? Depends on how long the plants are going to be in, what type of plants. Basically, I settled on, after a lot of thought, seven inches. So, what I did was, I got my, I got an eight foot one by three, chopped it down the length that fit in here. And I've measured off every seven inches. And I started at one end, just three and a half inches in, I believe it was. Let me check. Sorry, two inches in. So that means that this, the first one, the net pot's going to be pretty much this way. And then from that center hole, that center line, two inches in, I then measured seven inches all the way down. And I end up, I believe, about five inch end here. And the nice thing about that is, is when you flip this, let me make sure I don't smash my light, 150 bucks. When you do your next one, all those pots will be off center. And then you flip again, bum, 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 bum. So what we do here, it's pretty simple. is I've drilled holes. I'm going to use a one quarter inch drill bit. And I have a three and a half inch hole cutter. Now, these can be a bit pricey, uh, but once you get, you buy one with the assembly, you can, they, you can just put different size cutters on. You cannot do this in PVC or wood for that matter, anything else, anything thick, without one of these hole cutters. As you can see, it's got a, a guide bit that marks the center, and it's using a one quarter inch bit. So what I'm gonna do, as I said, I'm gonna get this piece of wood, and I put three one quarter inch screws here, here, or center in the end. So. I lay this down on here. Now my uh, PVC pipes are all screwed in, both ends. They won't roll, they won't move. So you're just gonna try it. And trust me, you could do, you could build a full jig, you know, wrap around the whole tube, but you, you know, to make sure your cuts are absolutely perfectly vertical um, but really you should be able to eyeball them so I'm just going to tap these in here so this is nice and snug now I did one in the middle because this wasn't perfectly straight so you see I just 
just eyeball and hit me before. It's at the top. See, this is bent over. But there it goes. So now, this piece is nice and secure. What we're going to do. We're going to run a hole into the PVC. Two of those guard holes. There we go. You can see it's very quick. Going to bathroom. Let's get on the screw hole. Take the screws out here. And replace. Shake rattle and roll a bit. All right. This is now why you need an 18 or 20 watt drill. So, you make sure you get your drill bit in. You want to have it on high. make sure you top I did have a drill that had a level a ball level here so you could see if you're vertical but yeah you should have eyeball it some vinegar in there just to help uh, cleanse that and let it run for oh, I don't know, 24 hours then drain it give it a quick rinse and put the water back and then put water fresh water in and then you start your pH stuff um, don't throw these out here's why you're gonna want to clean these up one of the things with NFTs is you don't want direct sunlight on the holes, right? So say you drilled all your holes, you've grown your plants, or you got your seed, your plants, and you discovered that, well, you've got three plants, that, or you got three holes that you don't have plants for. So you don't want to leave them covered or uncovered, 
the sun get out the water because that might create allergy. So you take your neck pop, you take your off cup, and bada bing. Put your pot in, cup. Get it out. There you go. So keep these. Um, you're going to have to clean up all the edges. You'll get a lot of burrs up here. You just peel it off with your finger and uh, shove it inside to clean the vacuum it out. Uh, I also have a little round grinder goes on my drill bit or on my drill, and you just run that around, clean off any burrs. You want to have it as clean as possible. You don't want to have any of the PVC, the plastic getting into the water. Um, shavings and stuff. I mean, it won't kill the plants, but it certainly doesn't put a smile in their bloom, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, it doesn't help. It might hurt, uh, although I haven't had any trouble so far. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next one, and I got a lot of drilling to do. <sighs> An awful lot. In the next one, I'm going to be showing you how to um, set up your propagation. I use rock wool, I uh, use tea to soak your seeds in, for putting in the rock wool, soaking the rock wool, yada, 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 all that stuff. So, um, yeah, that's it. Cheers.